Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kalpana Suresh, Chief Ophthalmic Surgeon from Kalpana Eye Care Chennai speaking. Today's topic is for the youngsters who are desirous to get rid of their glasses or contact lenses. Yes, it's about laser surgeries for refractive errors. Who is an ideal candidate for laser? To be eligible, you must be at least 18 years, have a stable eye power for at least one year, have a healthy cornea and retina. Laser will correct short sight, long sight and astigmatism or cylindrical power. One can get back clear vision without the use of glass or contact lens till the age of 40. After 40, due to aging changes in the eye, one may need glasses for near vision like reading books or using computers. This is not purely a cosmetic surgery. For people who have uneven powers in both eyes, for example, right eye has minus 1 and left eye has minus 7, these patients will not tolerate glasses. They will develop double vision if they wear glasses. Such patients are ideal candidates for laser vision correction. Who cannot undergo this surgery less than 18 years of age because power keeps changing. If the glass power is constantly changing, if the power is too high like minus 10 or minus 15, such people can undergo a special procedure called ICL which will correct very high powers also. So before surgery, a complete eye examination is done to find out the health of the cornea, eye surface and retina. Corneal thickness is then measured using a scan for which you should not wear your contact lenses for a minimum period of 2 weeks. Let's see about the available procedures now. First one is regular LASIK in which 25 mm corneal flap is made with a micro keratom blade and eczemer laser is passed onto the layers of cornea which reshapes for the given power. Second one is femtolasic which is bladeless procedure. Instead of micro keratom, femtolaser is used to take the 25 mm flap from the cornea. It is more precise than regular LASIK. Both the procedures reduce the strength of the cornea as they slice a portion of it. They are prone for lifelong risk due to direct injuries that hit the eye. So like if they are playing sports, suppose a cricket ball, a tennis ball or shuttlecock hits the eye, the elastic flap can get dislodged. Also the nerves get damaged resulting in dry eyes after the surgery for a while. Third is a very advanced and latest procedure known as SMILE. SMILE stands for small incision lenticule extraction. Only 2 mm opening is made. A required amount of corneal tissue is removed by laser itself which reshapes the cornea. Greatest advantage of this procedure is cornea retains its full strength for lifelong. Hence any injury to the cornea in the future, for example while playing cricket, tennis, shuttle or accidental hit by someone's hand will not do any harm to the operated eye. Also since the cornea is not sliced, nerves are going to be intact. Problem of dry eye is very very negligible. Surgery is done with eye drops anesthesia itself, no need for injection. It's a daycare procedure. Within one hour you can go home. You will need to apply eye drops as per your doctor's instructions for six weeks. For a month after surgery, you should avoid cosmetics, contact sports, swimming in the pools or using bathtubs. For smile procedures, all these activities can be resumed much, much earlier. To conclude, laser surgeries are simple and safe, causes almost no pain or discomfort, leaves no scar, has fast recovery periods, has very few complications, can be enhanced if necessary. Hope this information on laser vision correction surgeries are useful. If you have any queries, please post them in the comment box below. I would be happy to answer them. For more educative videos like this, kindly subscribe to Kalpana Eye Care YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.